Let's head to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Um, the viewers uh, all want to talk about this situation. Yeah, this is Eric from uh, Westchester, Ohio. I'm a lifelong Browns fan. And, you know, guilt or innocence aside on Deshaun Watson, at what point are league owners and fans going to start asking why is Roger Goodell still running the league? I mean, we have all these scandals that just get swept under the rug. Washington with the Gruden situation. Um these punishments that just seem inconsistent from year to year don't really make sense. The collusion of keeping Colin Kaepernick off the field. Um, at what point are we going to start looking at the guy in charge, Roger Goodell? Why is he still running the league? Why do the owners still want him? It seems to me the league runs perfectly fine with anybody running uh, the league, anybody as commissioner. At what point are we going to ask, hey, Roger, maybe this isn't your gig? I don't know. Thanks. Love the show. Appreciate the call. Uh, Mary Kay, I, I think Roger Goodell has been a pretty good commissioner of the NFL. I, I understand um, the question that people have with the way punishment is handed out. Um, but the owners, it's their billion dollar business. The players are, in essence, employees. Yeah, well, Roger Goodell has, you know, he's helped grow the league. Uh, he's helped taking it international. Uh, there, the TV contracts are, are through the roof. Uh, the league is making a ton of money. The owners are making tons and tons of money. Uh, so that has a lot to do with it. Uh, whenever you have 32 organizations with thousands of employees, uh, you are going to have issues. There are going to be problems that crop up. I think the NFL would argue that uh, that they're dealing with with the issues and and taking care of them as they see fit, and uh, and now it, it isn't just Roger Goodell who has to mete out justice in the NFL. Uh, now, when it comes to the owners or the players, uh, they do have that sort of middleman now in the personal conduct policy. In this case, it's retired U.S. District Judge Sue L. Robinson who will determine the initial discipline for Deshaun Watson. So there's that added layer there. Uh, now in the personal conduct policy. So it's not all up to Roger Goodell. He can he can amend it as he, as he sees fit, uh, but he is no longer the judge, jury, and executioner. Yeah, and, and that's probably by design to give a little bit of a check and balance um, to the discipline that's handed out.